Hey, how's it going everyone? Sage here, and today Apple's just wrapped up their September 10th special event where they did announce the long rumored iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C, and of course they did release iOS 7 Golden Master. Today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of some of the new features in iOS 7 Golden Master. Let's get started. So guys, just a little while ago, Apple held their September 10, 2013 event where they unveiled the iPhone 5S, 5C, and also unveiled iOS 7 and gave us a release date and everything, and they also released the Golden Master Edition. And guys, basically, if you don't know what a Golden Master Edition of software is, it's basically like a pre-release. So basically, it will have everything that the final version will have. And yeah, so it's basically like a beta test making sure the final version works before they actually let people um, download it. So yeah, and uh, guys, if you're running iOS 7 Beta 6 and you want um, iOS 7 Golden Master, it's not that hard to do. All you have to do is go into settings if you're on an iDevice, General, and the Software Update, and you'll be prompted to download iOS 7 Golden Master. I already did it, so I'm not going to be sh doing that again. And guys, if you want to um, do this on your computer, you can do it too. All you have to do is you got to go onto your Apple developer account and download the IPSW of your for your iDevice. And then um, just use iTunes to restore it onto your device. So yeah, and that's exactly what I did. And uh, speaking of the Golden Master IPSW, I will not be providing download links for it. Because, come on guys, the release date's only like less than a week away. It's on September 18th, so... I don't really see the point in doing that. And yeah, so anyway, let's jump into the new features. For feature number one, well, I wouldn't really call it a feature because it's more bad news for iPhone 4 users. So I'm just going to call it something new. Anyway guys, um, there is more and less support for the iPhone 4 now with um, iOS 7 Golden Master. And um, the first thing that is not supported, as you can see right here, is an animated weather. So you will not be able to see animated weather conditions like you do see right here. You see the clouds are moving. Something like that. So anyway, you guys will not have animated weather conditions if you're on an iPhone 4. And for the next three things, this is um, included within notes. But I don't really use them and I don't know what they are. So I'm just going to tell you what they are. And if it's um, useful for you and you're on an iPhone 4, I'm sorry. But you cannot use it with iOS 7. Anyway, um, blurred layers are no longer supported on the iPhone 4. Parallax and letterpress text is no longer on the iPhone 4. So guys, I am very sorry if you ha have an iPhone 4 and you liked all this stuff. But unfortunately, with iOS 7, you will not be getting it. Anyway, let's move on. And for feature number 2, as you could probably already see on my iPod, we have brand new dynamic and still wallpapers. And guys, this is the first time in a long time that Apple's finally redone all their wallpapers. There are still some original ones, which I will show you in a minute. But yeah, let's get right into it. So, to see them, we're going to go into our settings, wallpapers, brightness. As you see, there was a preview there. Let's start with the dynamic ones. As you can all see, we got some, we got a blue one here, a very light blue. We got yellow, and we got um, pink, and then this ultra gray one. And uh, yeah, so let's preview the blue one. Very nice. And um, once again, like I said in my iOS 7 Beta 6 video, um, dynamic wallpapers are not supported on the iPhone 4. For, so, for your iPhone 4, you iPhone 4 users, I'm sorry, but if you want this, you're going to have to change your iOS device to a newer device because that device is extremely outdated. It's running the Apple A4 from 2010, and it has a horrible amount of RAM for, if, by today's standards. So, yeah. So that's the dynamic ones. Let's go into the stills. As you can see, we have a new selection of still wallpapers up here. And um, yeah, and a lot of them are really detailed in HD, like this one. You guys got to see this in person. And yeah, like this one, too. Very nice. Um, these are some of the multicolored ones. This is the one I'm using. Very nice. Also, we got some of the new app, Apple iPhone 5C wallpapers that they introduced at the September 10 event. Like this yellow one here. 
and this blue one, and the pink. And also you got your standard white and um, black. So yeah, so um, all these wallpapers and all the Dynamics um, wallpapers will be all be available on the final version of um, iOS 7 coming out in exactly one week from the day of filming this video, September 18. For feature number three, we have brand new um, alert sounds and ringtones. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, let's go through them. So, here's the first new one. I'll go through all of them. And, yeah, so sit back and enjoy. And, uh, yeah, so that's all of them. We still have all our original, um, ringtones in the classic folder. Like this. I'm pretty sure everyone would know that one. So yeah, and now let's go to the alert tones, which they have also been redesigned, so sit back and relax while I play them for you. We also have all the classic ones here.
So yeah, that's all the new ringtones and sound. Anyway, yes! Time to download this awesome game! Yay! This is gonna be so fun! What the? Uh-oh. Oh, come on! What the f For feature number four, which some of you probably already know what I'm talking about from me spousing in the last clip, yes, uh, there are two major bug fixes, and one of them is you will not have to see that irritating waiting text under your apps when you're downloading them for hours anymore, because Apple has fixed that. So old, so now with the iOS 7 Golden Master instead of the previous versions of iOS 7 Beta, you only see for a couple of seconds and then it'll go back, it'll go directly to the loading um, text and then you'll be downloading your app and installing it in no time. And also the second um, bug that got fixed was um, whenever you have like a password typed in and it's blocked out by the um, little dots and then you suddenly rotate it, it'll show your password for a couple seconds I believe. And then, if your friends nearby, they will see it and they could hack your account. Well, guess what? That is no longer a problem now because Apple has fixed that bug. So now, no one will be hacking your account and your password will be safe. For feature number five, we have some interesting stuff with the, any kind of media app on your iOS device. So, basically, I'm not going to... Well, first of all, I'm not going to be demonstrating this. But I'm going to explain it. So um, basically, let's say your iOS device uh, crashes or the, your app crashes. Well, it's kind of similar to what iCloud can do, I believe. Where, um, let's say I'm watching a video in here and then it suddenly crashes. It, iOS um, 7 Golden Master will now remember what you were doing in your um, uh, media app. And then it'll go directly to where you were right when it crashed. Even if your battery dies, it'll also do that. It'll work with videos, music, iTunes Store, App Store, I think, and um, yeah, maybe YouTube as well. So yeah, that's something very interesting, but I will not be demonstrating this in this video. And last but not least, for feature number six, we have some new stuff with AirDrop. So um, it involves your contacts. So let's say you just want to share something with your contacts only, and all that, and you only want to be visible to your contacts. There are some new requirements for that now, so as you guys all know, iOS 7 comes with AirDrop, just like on the Mac. So if you only want to be visible to your contacts and only share stuff with your contacts, you must be signed into iCloud, and the sender and the receiver must have each other's Apple ID and email addresses in their contacts. So yeah, overall, iOS 7 is the biggest overhaul of iOS since the beginning in 2007. It's also a fresh and amazing new mobile OS with tons of new features, including a radical new design designed from the ground up, with all kinds of redesigns in all the, its original iOS apps, and there's also some new apps too, and all that. And also you have Control Center, where you can have AirDrop, and you have your, all your um, uh, uh, control peripherals here, like airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, do not disturb thingy, uh, portrait lock, you can adjust your brightness here, you can play your music, adjust your volume, access airdrop, and then now it has a built-in flashlight um, into control centers. So now you don't have to download an app if you have a LED flash on your iOS device. You also have a quick access to your stopwatch, your calculator, and your camera from control center. Also we have a complete redesign of notification center, with tons of new features, but I will not go through all of them. And anyway, you can get all this exactly one week from the date of this filming on September 18, because that is the day that iOS 7 Final is being released. And guys, before I go, I have uh, two things I forgot to show you earlier in the video. And the first thing is, there is now a sound that you will hear when you pl ch plug in your charger to your iOS device. Listen carefully and you'll be able to hear it. So, unplug. And now let's plug it in. Ready? Did you guys hear that? I'll do it again for people who didn't. So yeah, there's a new startup. There's a new um, charging sound there. Uh, actually, I think that was never there. I think this is brand new. Yeah, 
So anyway, also Siri's voice has changed and there's also a new sound when you um, activate Siri. Hello Siri. Just give it a minute. Sage. Yep, and as you can see, that's the new female voice for Siri. I will demonstrate the um, male voice later, po possibly, but I won't be doing that in this video. So that's going to do for me, guys. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, favorite it, and share it with all your friends. And um, please leave a comment down below if you like. And um, if you guys like to see more stu stuff like this in the future, also let me know in the comments. And I'll get back to you. And uh, yeah, so iOS 7 final is coming out this September 18. So that's exactly one week away from the date of filming on this video. So yeah, so set it on your calendars and um, be ready to download iOS 7 the minute it comes out. I know a lot of you want this update really badly. So you're very close to getting it. And anyway guys, um, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.